Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to Amazon Linux EC2 instance on AWS. See, I have connected to my AWS management console by using my credentials. First, we have to select the region. Select the region based on your location. See, this is the AWS management console home. We have EC2 service on recently visited services. We are unable to find EC2, then click on AWS, then click on this search box and search for EC2. Click on EC2. See, this is the EC2 dashboard and these are the EC2 resources. See, to create instance, we have to click on launch instance or click on instances, then click on launch instances. Both are same. If any instance is running, it will show here. So, now click on launch instances to create the instance. Here, provide the name. I am giving name as Then application and OS images that is Amazon machine image. See by default it has selected Amazon Linux. If you are unable to find you have to click on this search box and you have to search as well as click on this more AMS and search. So once we selected Amazon Linux it has selected the first option that is it has selected the free tier eligible Amazon Linux AMI. See we have different AMIs. So, I am selecting the first one that is Amazon Linux 2023 AMI, it is free trial eligible. And this is the AMI ID for this Amazon Linux 2023. Select the architecture, I am going with 64 bit architecture. Then instance type, instance type is T2 micro, which means one CPU and one gigabytes memory. If you want more CPUs and memory, click on this drop down button and select. The charges will be based on the type of instance. Next key pair. Key pair is used to connect to EC2 instance. Select the from the list. We don't have key pair. So click on create new key pair. Here I am giving name as EC Linux web app. Name can be anything and key pair type is RSA and key file format is PEM. This is used PEM file is used for open SSH but dot PPK used with putty. Later we can convert this PEM file to PPK also. So click on create key pair. Once we click on key pair, see it has downloaded the PEM file. Now network settings. See by default network subnet and auto assign public IP not configured. So click on edit. Then here in the top down we don't have any VPC. Also we don't have subnet public IP you can enable. So we don't have VPC. So we have to click on services then search for VPC. Then right click on this VPC and select open link in new tab. And notice here the region is US East 1. This also must be the same. See this is the VPC dashboard. We don't have any VPCs. See it is 0. Click on create VPC and this is the name. See this is the name. Okay. If we want only VPC it will create OPC. But if we select VPC and more it will create subnets, route tables and security groups okay i am going with vpc and more then select the options based on requirement click on create vpc it is going to create these services see vpc is created then go to launch instance then click on this refresh button see here we have vpc it automatically selected then subnets again refresh see we have these four subnets so i am going with the vsist 1b Auto and public IP, I am enabling. Next, firewall or security groups. Create security group, which means we are going to create new security group for this instance. But I am going with select an existing security group. In the drop down, select the existing group. That is the this one and default one. Next, configure storage. By default storage, they are selected 8 GB. I am changing it to 30 gigabytes. Also see here the notification free tier eligible customers can get up to 30 GB of EBS general purpose SSDR magnetic storage. If you want more volume you have to click on add new volume but it is chargeable. Then advanced settings. If you want spot instances you have to check this checkbox. Otherwise uncheck it. If you want add or join this to domain directory you have to select from the drop down. If you don't have any domain you have to click on add new directory and add. The same here I am instance profile. I am not going to configure these two. I am leaving them as it is. And host name type. 
I'm changing it to resource name. Then click on enable resource based IPv4 DNS requests. And remaining are the optional. I'm not going to configure this, but you can configure based on the your requirement. Last option, this is also optional user data, which means whatever the commands or scripts we have provided here, those will be executed at the time of this Amazon Linux EC2 instance starts or at boot time. So this is the summary. If you want to create two instances, you have to select, you have to give number two. If you want one, just give one. And this is the AMI and this is the instance type and this is the firewall and this is the volume. If you are okay with all these settings, just click on launch instance. Now go to instances, go to EC2 dashboard, refresh instances, again refresh, then apply, then refresh. See instances running. See here it is T2 micro. This is the public IPv4 DNS and this is the public IP address and remaining options. Click on this instance ID. This is the instance information like public IP, private IP, instance state, public IP for DNS and host name type, auto assigned at IP address. This is okay. IAM role. We haven't assigned any IAM role. And this is the subnet ID. This is the VPC ID. And this is the instance details like platform, platform details, stop protection, AMI ID and other security. Here we'll get the security group network storage status checks monitoring these are the cloud watch metrics tags we can add the tags later also now we will see how to connect to this amazon linux ec2 instance click on connect see we have these four options to connect to this amazon linux and this is the username this is the public ip click on this connect so we are unable to connect it so now go to session manager this also we we have to set up so click on this ssh client copy this path open terminal or command prompt if you are in linux machine we have to open terminal if you are in windows machine open command prompt then go to downloads where that fem file is downloaded let's verify whether fem file is there copy this fem file name dir see we have the fem file now copy this entire ssh command see this is the username this is the ipv okay. copy this string that is the ssh command hit enter surely it will be failed i will show you the reason and resolution we will receive the error connection timed out with the port 22 see we have received connection time dot error so solution is go to so go to instances click on instance id then security then click on security group which is assigned to this instance then click on this inbound rules then go to edit inbound rules then click on add rule then select ssh see when we selected ssh it has selected port range as 22 then in source we have to select my ip then click on the save rules See, we have successfully saved inbound security group. Then go to command prompt terminal, then run the same command. Now type S for fingerprint confirmation. See, we have successfully connected to Amazon Linux. Control L to clear the screen. It is saying Amazon Linux 2023. Control L to clear the screen. Let's verify whether this is Amazon Linux or not. More slash etc os hyphen release see name is amazon linux and it's family like fedora until now we have seen how to create and connect to amazon linux ect instance on aws now go to ec2 dashboard if you want to stop or restart or terminate instance select the instance from the list then select the stop or restart or terminate instance terminate means if you are not using instance anymore you have to click on this terminate instance if you want to change the properties of this instance, click on this actions and select the instance settings or network settings or if you want to change the security group, you have to select this one, image and templates, monitor, troubleshoot. 
it is always recommended to terminate or delete the instance if you are not using because aws charges based on the uses okay so in this video we have seen how to create and connect to amazon linux ec2 instance on aws for more aws or cloud or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you